Agricultural Party originated in Norfolk and was originally called the Norfolk Farmers Party. They had no official logo. This party had five main policies. The first of these was to place a tax on all foreign food imports to protect the UK agricultural industry and that the agricultural industry should be protected on the same level as the manufacturing industry. This would help home farming markets thrive but would increase the cost of food. Secondly, they wanted wider protection of the domestic growing and farming of wheat with a set subsidy of wheat in the UK, effectively using taxpayers' money to grow wheat across the UK. Third, they wanted duty on all foreign imported barley used for malting and distilling. This would increase the price of barley goods but protect the farmers in the UK. Fourth, they wanted a preference for supplying British troops from the UK with UK foodstuffs. This would mean that the UK government would purchase food from farmers, but they may pay more for it. And fifth, they promoted empire free trade and aiding British dominions by supplying food and giving free access to the UK market. This would increase trade greatly, making food much cheaper in the UK, but it would mean that UK farmers would need to be more competitive. The first four policies are very protective, while the fifth is more free trade. They had wide support of farmers across the UK, as well as the National Farmers Union. They also had two big supporters in British politics at the time. The first of these was Ver Hamsworth, the third Viscount of Rothermore. He was a peer in the House of Lords who was very influential in both the media and the House of Lords. He was also the chairman of the Daily Mail and General Trust PLC. The second of these was Max Aitken, who was a Canadian-British newspaper publisher and backstage politician who was very influential in the British media and politics, being the owner of the largest newspaper in the world, the Daily Express, and was also a close ally to Winston Churchill and aided greatly in the mobilisation of aircraft production in World War II. The Agricultural Party never really took off and remained a minor party, although they did siphon away many votes from Labour, costing them many votes. They only stood one candidate in the Isle of Ely in 1931 general election, getting 22% of the vote. They stood again in the 1933 East Fife by-election, getting 14% of the vote share. They would later dissolve around 1940.